Pray, allow me to show you the way. You have our gratitude. Lead the way. Have you any time for me today? I dare say we're overdue another talk. There's something I've come to understand during my stolen hours exploring these streets, and I wanted to share it with you. Every last resident in this city is wholeheartedly devoted to living out their lives. It seems a simple observation, I know, but to me, it was a revelation. For it made me painfully aware of my own position. Can this existence of mine even be called living when I am so doted upon by my mother? I want to live a life I can proudly call my own and to achieve it with all that my heart desires. I tire of enduring my mother's coddling, 
and of having to mind every twitch in her face in order to appease her. Looking at this box, it fills me with courage. It is proof that I am not my mother's servant to be willed about as she pleases. It is something I obtained of my own will. Though it came to me through you, of course. Pray, take this with my thanks. Tis quite a rarity, as I hear it. I hope tis to your life. Now, I'd best be off. I may not be able to wander the city again for some time. There's aught I would do. Thus, I cannot say when next we'll see each other, though I feel sure we shall in time. Uh, perhaps sooner than we might think. <laughs> Till then, take care, Fred. That was quite a gift. I hope that procuring it was not a burden upon the lad. Right you are. Shall we visit the manor, as the maid bid? Follow me. I will guide you to the location. You have our gratitude. Lead the way. to help a fellow out. All I ask is that you hear my request. What have you got to lose? My thanks, sir. As to the matter at hand, it concerns my ox cart business. I've been holding off service on account of all the monsters on the road, but now I feel prepared to start making trips to Melv again. Only trouble is, there are still monsters about, and I can't help but worry for the safety of the carts. That's where you come in. See, I've got a letter here from Lady Margit, the Watchhead's wife, to be delivered to one Sir Leonard in Melv. I'd like you to accompany the cart in my stead and see to it that the letter reaches its recipient. What say you, friend? Splendid! I knew I was right to put my faith in you. Now, the carts only depart at certain hours of the day. But I find that time flies when I take it. And mind you, don't forget to pay your way before you board. That's standard practice. And I would advise against trying any funny business. Each cart travels with an escort of trained soldiers, see? In case it encounters any monsters out on the road. So anyone thinking of riding for free will have to take the issue up with them. But enough of my lecturing. Just make sure that letter gets to Sir Lennart. Then come find me when the job's done. Oh, and I'll pay your fare this time, seeing as you're doing me a favor and all. Come find me when you've delivered that letter. I'll be waiting to hear from you. We ought to see this to its destination. This ox cart's bound for Melv. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier would allow us to save our strength, assuming we are not attacked, that is. Tell is, Vermont was once a beast in kingdom. Truly? Indeed, though it is not widely known among the common folk.
Come off it. What am I supposed to do about it? This is most convenient. Another destination we were bound for is not far from here. Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. most convenient. Another destination we were bound for is not far from here. Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. Thank <laughs> you. 
is most convenient. Another destination we were bound for is not far from here. We shall have to decide which is the most pressing. We cannot do everything at once. yourself. T'was a lesson in determination. Somehow I knew you'd come. You have my gratitude as well, sir. Ulrika, glad I am to see you unharmed. You must return to the village. Everyone is concerned for you. Forgive me. I'd best go. But I shan't forget this. Thank you. True. That wasn't the dragon, but a poor imitation of it. No wonder I feel so hollow. Sigurd, you're the current Arisen, aren't you? I pray you do not walk the same path as I have. Tis a style all my own, a patchwork of techniques Hone for the sole purpose of slaying the dragon. Over here, if you would. This isn't the way to our destination, but I presume you've a new one in mind. Lead on. There will be other opportunities to lead. For now, let us follow. Have you need of me? Oh, what does this say? Let's have a look then. Well met, sir. Best get to work. 
We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Fancy look at my wares? Do come again. Here at the inn, we also offer changes of vocation for those who seek it. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something? We must rest, though the sun is still up. I trust we've all inspected our equipment. Come, we've much to be getting on with. A new day, a new perspective. Here at the inn, we also I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me.
Did you need something? Do come again. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. This is most convenient. Another destination we were bound for is not far from here. We shall have to decide which is the most pressing. We cannot do everything at once. I have not much to offer you, sir, I fear. What you need of me? An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. Walking everywhere. Wasn't sure we'd survive that, but here we are. My thanks for your efforts. I, what can I do for you? Ah, a letter from Lady Margaret, you say? It is a fair way you've come, then. My thanks. She's a kindly sort, I must say. We met when I worked with her husband, Sir Gregor, on one occasion. Now she's taken to inquiring after my health at the turn of every season. We'd best report back. the words to so thank you. That Lady Margaret's a kindly sort. What's more, off do we call on you to carry the burdens we cannot. I must thank you. Your toil keeps me... light on my feet. It is a glad thing we rested when we did. We must not let down our guard. Dare I say it? We trounced our foe well and true. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. 
Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. Master, I discovered a treasure chest here during my last journey beyond the rift. Shall I go? Battle is best avoided here. I shan't let them fall. Look there. I espy another statue. Shall we search for a path to lead us to it? I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. We ought to take a closer look. Fine place to harvest some ingredients. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here?
Mayhap you will think this a trifle, but one master I served was quite the carefree soul, shunning armor in all its forms. Each to their own. We've little need for a campsite at present. Let us return once we've grown tired from our labors. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. We're unlikely to find any warm hearts down here. Proceeding ill prepared invites an early grave. Understood. Hark! The flapping of bats' wings. Pay them no mind. I will protect you. Having more of these to hand ought serve us well in battle. Let us take care when and how we put them to use.
efficiency at its best. Let us try for the same result with our next attack. Be on your guard. There are innumerable corners where an enemy might conceal themselves here. We must be ready for anything. Over here, if you please. Retreat, then? Where you do not fall prey to the enemy's attack as we pass. True enough. I shan't let them fall. I grant your weapon and magic food. Poison ought to be cured with all due haste. took more out of me than I would have liked. We ought to consider this a lesson. This is what befalls one who lets down their guard.
is overly narrow here and ill-suited to combat. Let us proceed with caution. Eyes peeled, ears pricked. One of us has been poisoned. Let our foes cower before lightning's crackle. is best avoided here. generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Let me get that.
ought to keep watch, lest we be set upon from behind. What? Oh! It was but a trick of the light. Oh! Well spotted! I'm sure my master will be astonished to learn the fight! I doubt I shall be of any use to us. Poison ought to be here before due haste. Shall we visit the manor, as the maid bid? Follow me. I will guide you to the location. <laughs> 